In this lesson, you will learn the importance of a unit fraction. You will also learn the importance of paying attention to the reference whole. So we will illustrate using an example. The green rectangle represents four-fifths of a whole piece of paper. So your job is to draw a red rectangle that represents three-fifths of the whole piece of paper. Now this task will be easy if they give us the whole piece of paper. Unfortunately, they only give us four-fifths of the whole piece of paper. So then, should we cut this green rectangle into five pieces? What do you think? The answer is no. Then what can we do? Think about it. If the green rectangle is four-fifths of the whole, can we actually draw one-fifth of the whole? Yes, right? How? by cutting the green rectangle into four equal parts. So why? Because each part actually represents one-fifth of the whole. So the four parts collectively will represent four-fifths of the whole. Now that we have one-fifth of the whole, can you get three-fifths of the whole? Yes by just keep adding one fifth at that time. Now we have already have two fifth, and add another fifth, we will have three fifth, and we are done. So now do you see the importance of a unit fraction? Why? Because unit fraction is like a building block that we can use to generate more fractions that has the same denominator. But in this case, three fifth can be seen as adding one-fifths three times. Okay. This red rectangle is three-fifths of the whole piece of paper. Is the red rectangle also three-quarters of something? Yes. But is a three-quarter of what? three-quarter of the green rectangle. Can you see that? So essentially, this three-fifths of the whole piece of paper is exactly the same as three-quarter of the green rectangle. But the green rectangle is actually four-fifths of the whole paper, right? So what did we learn? Now, this example shows that one quantity, which is the red rectangle, can be represented by two fractions. On one hand, you can see it as three-fifths. On the other hand, you can see it as three-quarters. Why? Because each fraction is actually referring to a different reference whole. The three-fifths is actually referring to the whole piece of paper. Whereas the three-quarters is only referring to a fraction of the whole piece of paper. Okay, this is another challenge. Is it possible to have two different looking solutions that are both correct? We already have one solution, right? So how can we have a different solution? Another way is to cut this green rectangle into four equal parts horizontally. This way. Now we want actually three-fifths. So that means we want three of the small pieces. So we can also get the same answer with a longer but narrower rectangle. So in fact, these two rectangles have the same area and they are both three quarters of the green rectangle, although they have different lengths and different widths. So what does this example illustrate? It helps us see that the area model is very powerful because we can split it into equal parts in two ways, vertically as well as horizontally. So may you understand mathematics deeply.